Since the start of the 2024 to 2025 Premier League season, Erling Holland has once again had an impressive beginning, just as always. Looking at the number of goals he scored in the first few matches, many have compared Holland to superheroes from Marvel movies. After just four games, he had already scored nine goals, a remarkably impressive figure. However, no one can quite understand why Holland suddenly seems to have been hypnotized and has gradually disappeared from the field. Those who have been following him in recent games must be wondering, what's happening to this goal-scoring machine? Could it be that Holland is facing some personal issues? Or has he simply lost his ideal partner, Kevin De Bruyne? Without De Bruyne's world-class assists, the Norwegian striker seems to have become invisible. If you're a Manchester City fan, you're likely very familiar with the sight of De Bruyne delivering sharp passes for Holland to finish and score with ease. It was a perfect symbiotic relationship. One creates, the other finishes. Simple yet incredibly effective. But problems arose when De Bruyne suddenly got injured. Since then, Holland appears to have lost the roadmap that led him to the opponent's goal. In De Bruyne's absence, Holland has become strangely ordinary. Right after De Bruyne left the pitch, Holland's form took a nosedive. After scoring nine goals in the first four games, he only added one more goal in the next four matches. From being a superhuman, he suddenly turned into someone invisible, leaving no impact in the last three Premier League games. What's more concerning is that he hasn't scored a single goal, and his number of dangerous shots on target has significantly diminished. In the match against Wolverhampton, Holland left everyone stunned, not because of his scoring prowess, but because of his total disappearance. Throughout the game, Holland only touched the ball 13 times, an alarmingly low figure for a striker of his caliber. Looking at these statistics, it becomes even clearer how vital De Bruyne is. When De Bruyne plays, Holland has scored up to 54 Premier League goals. Without his key teammate, Holland's goal tally has nearly halved, a fact that has surprised many. The truth is, not everyone can shine without the support of a talented teammate. For Holland, De Bruyne was the perfect partner. Holland is not the type of striker who can single-handedly change the course of a match like Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo. He needs passes that create easy scoring opportunities. Without De Bruyne, Holland is like a supercar running out of fuel. No matter how talented he is, filling the gap left by De Bruyne isn't something he can do on his own. With De Bruyne sidelined for the long term, Manchester City is scrambling to find a replacement capable of delivering sharp passes to Holland. Although Holland can still instill fear in opponents and score three or four goals in a match, his superpowers have clearly diminished since De Bruyne's injury. Now, when we look at Holland on the field, it's easy to imagine Superman without his cape. He's still an outstanding talent. But without the key that De Bruyne's passes provide, Holland is more like an ordinary player rather than the record-breaking machine he once was. It could be said that De Bruyne isn't just a playmaker, but also the architect behind many of Holland's goals. With his keen tactical vision and pinpoint accuracy, De Bruyne has often placed Holland in the perfect position to score with ease. De Bruyne's absence has left Manchester City without a compass, and Holland, though very talented, cannot always find his way to the goal by himself. He needs long passes, those cross-field balls into the 16-yard box from De Bruyne to burst forward and score. Holland needs De Bruyne to be the best version of himself. But this also raises a significant question. Is Holland's form too reliant on De Bruyne? If a top-tier striker like Holland cannot shine without a specific partner, it suggests that his real strength isn't just about individual skill, but also about how the entire team functions. In the last three Premier League games, Holland has seemed stuck in Pep Guardiola's tactical setup. Opponents have found it easy to isolate him, as the number of passes reaching Holland has dramatically decreased without De Bruyne on the field. In reality, it's not that other players can't create chances, but replicating De Bruyne's ability to locate Holland in tight spaces inside the penalty box is not easily replaceable. This forces us to reconsider the role of strikers in modern football. Erling Haaland, with his height and superior strength, has always been a major threat in front of the opponent's goal. However, without those world-class assists, he becomes much easier to shut down. This raises an age-old question that never seems to lose its relevance. 
Is a great striker someone who can create and score goals on their own, or simply someone who knows how to finish when given the opportunity? Pep Guardiola, one of the greatest football managers in history, has faced many challenges in his career, but losing Kevin De Bruyne might be one of the toughest puzzles for him to solve. De Bruyne wasn't just the player who helped Holland shine, but also the tactical brain of the entire team. Without the Belgian star, Pep is now forced to find a way to keep Manchester City from becoming overly dependent on one individual. The reality is that without De Bruyne, Holland is left playing alone, or to be more precise, he isn't playing much at all. In the match against Wolverhampton, the Norwegian striker only touched the ball 13 times during the entire 90 minutes. An extremely alarming figure for a top-level striker. Not only that, Holland lost possession five times, a very worrying ratio considering how little he was involved in the team's overall play. The current situation is testing Holland's ability to grow independently. With De Bruyne on the field, everything becomes much easier. Just wait for the perfect pass and score. But in the absence of that teammate, Holland is forced to learn how to adapt. He needs to drop deeper, contribute more to the overall build-up play. This is not easy, especially since Holland is only 24 years old and still in the process of perfecting his game. However, he cannot always rely on De Bruyne or any other midfielder. The greatest strikers in football history have always had the ability to change the game on their own. And if Holland wants to rise to legendary status, he must learn how to find the back of the net without relying on world-class assists. For Manchester City, the problem isn't just Holland, but the entire team system. Without De Bruyne, Guardiola needs to adjust the play style so that the team doesn't depend too much on one individual. This could include using more attacking players or changing Holland's position so that he plays a bigger role in the build-up. Pep also has to find a long-term replacement for De Bruyne, who could be out for a long time. Relying on one player is not only risky tactically, but it also leaves the team vulnerable to crisis if that player is injured. Manchester City needs a solid plan B, not only to salvage this season, but to ensure their strength in the future. Holland's current slump in form is not just his problem, but Manchester City's as well. The absence of Kevin De Bruyne has disrupted the entire attacking system of the team, and Holland is simply the most visible victim. However, with Pep Guardiola's talent and determination, Manchester City will undoubtedly find a solution. The question is, can Holland stand on his own without De Bruyne's support, or will he forever be a goal-scoring machine that only functions effectively when fueled by the brilliance of his teammate? De Bruyne is not just an outstanding player, he's a specialist in creating golden opportunities for Holland. With his brilliant tactical vision, precise passing, and assists that only he would dare to conceive, De Bruyne has become an irreplaceable piece of Manchester City, especially for Holland. Without the Belgian star, Manchester City not only loses a top-tier midfielder, but also the driving force behind Holland's goal-scoring prowess. Holland could continue to struggle if De Bruyne doesn't return soon, but Pep Guardiola won't let that happen. He will have to rotate the squad, change tactics to find someone who can fill De Bruyne's role. However, this is clearly not an easy task. Manchester City, in the midst of the Premier League title race, will need to quickly find a solution if they don't want to see their goal-scoring machine continue to decline. Only when they restore the connection between the different parts of the team, especially between Holland and the midfield, will Manchester City be able to maintain their position at the top. If not, things will continue as they are. Holland remains missing, and Pep Guardiola will keep losing sleep, unable to rely on players like Nathan Ake or John Stones to save the team.